What's up guys, do you ever drop near the prison and see the sheer number of people dropping there? Parachutes filling the sky? You know that if you join them, you only have like a 1 in 10, 1 in 20 chance of surviving the mayhem and madness. And if you survive, you'd have great gear, yeah, but you're going to have to do it 10, 20 times in order to survive even once. Now what if you let them all fight each other, and the one or two that come out on top and spend all that time looting all that great gear in the prison, you hide and then kill them when they don't know it and reap the rewards of all their hard work. That's what this strategy is all about. Most things you do with PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds are either high risk, high reward, like dropping school or military base, you'll probably die, but if you don't, you're gonna have great gear, or low risk, low reward, dropping some random village in the middle of nowhere. This strategy combines the best of those two, and I believe it is truly low risk, high reward. A great way to start the game, get a couple of kills, and get yourself set up with gear to go into the late game and get a chicken dinner. Now all you've got to do is drop near the prison, but instead of landing at the prison, aim for this small village of four houses just northeast of the prison. As you're going there, keep an eye on the prison for how many people are parachuting in. Loot these four buildings really quickly, and they actually have pretty good loot. It's almost always that I find at least one assault rifle or a crossbow, sometimes silencers. I've gotten assault rifle silencer, I've gotten submachine gun silencers. Then, as soon as you get a rifle and a scope, run up the hill towards the prison in the southwest direction, get on the cliff, and just start watching. There should be firefights going on. The people that landed in the prison are probably slowly getting whittled down, and one guy is going to come out on top, or just a few guys. And now, they are yours for the picking. After you kill them, stay on Overwatch for a while, just to make sure that there's nobody else left. And then, you can run down and loot their body, which should have all the good loot from the whole prison complex, saving you the time of running around to all the warehouses in the building. Now watch a few more clips right after I crest the hill and I take all the people in the prison unawares. This is a game where I looted an ump with a submachine gun silencer, but no rifle. I figured, hey, I can still try to snipe him with the ump. Oh my god. He must have been lit. Next up is a great one where I get four kills sniping in the prison, and I bring it on home to get the chicken dinner. She was on the floor. Nice job. Oh my god, I love Pablo Strauss. By the way, the official name for this strategy is Pablo Strats, named after my good friend Pablo. Woo! And sometimes with this strategy, you get to witness hilarious firefights by the people in the prison. Wow, I can't believe they haven't all killed each other yet. It's hilarious. Yes! See that? Okay, right next to the big building, he's looting. Right next to the big Oh, I see him. You hit him. He's down. His buddy's in the building also. Okay. He knows I'm up here now because... I shot him through the doorway and there's no other way to get him from here. And finally, on the rare occasion someone else drops in the little village with you, fuck him up with a pan. <clears throat> then, find a crossbow, get up on the hill, get a couple crossbow kills. Then you got a pan kill, crossbow kills, you're going for the funky kill strat this game. Yes!
Alright guys, if you like this strategy, subscribe to me on YouTube for more similar content and watch me stream. Now, please don't use this strategy too much because people in the prison will start getting used to it and it won't work for me anymore. But if you keep it a secret, Pablo Strats might be as successful for you as it is for me.